Same pizza on the other flour. Mm -hmm. This one's made on Caputo flour, which is one of the big name brands from Italy, imported flour. It's, it puffs, but it doesn't have big holes in the dough, it ha but it's so light and sweet that you don't really care. Why did you decide to open right here in North Beach? Well, I've always loved North Beach. Um, I got married here, um, you know, always come from an Italian family. You always thought North Beach was, you know, the place to go. So being able to bring to San Francisco something that uh, kind of state-of-the-art pizzeria that has four ovens, several different types of flowers and styles. Did you grow up here in, in San Francisco? Is this your I, home, home town? I grew up in the East Bay. So East yeah, Bay. I grew up huh. in Fremont. Good. And uh, my brother and I opened Paisano's Pizzeria in 1991. And Paisano's is, is over in the East Bay, yeah, just Castro over, Valley. over the Bay, in Castro yeah. Valley. Coming. Yeah, and really coming from Castro Valley to here, I mean, it's, it's a pretty big, um, pretty big step. I mean, you're looking at a suburb and you're looking at a big city. You'll go a lot of places in San Francisco, let's say they're making Neapolitan style pizza, but they don't have a wood burning oven. Or... This is this has got the buffalo mozzarella, so I don't know. I know, this is regular, right? Oh, it is? Okay. Okay, okay. This is a classic margarita, but on the San Felice flour now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll see if it performs differently. What's nice is you hit this. All the you don't want a lot of flour in here. When you put when you put something in this oven, you want a lot of flour because it's either going to make your pizza too white or it's going to burn. Okay, the bottom. yeah. You have to yeah. brush the oven. What's important about not getting flour in your oven is if I put a pound of flour in that oven, and I let it burn. That ash is going to be about two percent of that weight, uh -huh. and that two percent of that weight is salt. The salt doesn't burn. So if you have an oven that has full of flour, flour, flour in there, and the guy's never brushing it, you're going to get an inconsistent uh, dough that's going to have more salt, taste more salty, or less salty. So what's important is you always want to have a peel that won't have too much flour that goes in it, or make sure you keep brushing your oven. And we're getting a really nice. So we're moving this with here. a smaller peel. You put your pizza in with a big peel. Yeah. You take it out with a small peel. Okay. Yeah. And that's what's important. And that's traditional. So you have more control with it too, probably. So you're looking at this pie right now. It looks pretty good. Bottom's just about done. I cooked that side for a little bit because this is the first part. You're gonna have to dome it, do you think? My a little bit. There it goes. Going into the dome for a couple seconds. So Again. if I left it in that dome for. Yeah. 30 seconds, yeah. it would come out on fire. On pizza. fire, really? It's that yeah. hot up there. Yeah. So even the, the oils would probably ignite. So here again, we've got the, ch the caramelization clearly in the crust, but caramelization also in the cheese. And traditionally, when you let a pizza out, you actually go like this, because the last portion of your, of your peel is to scrape any extra pieces off that bottom. Did you already put salt on before we baked it? So I you did. don't need to put salt now. Don't need oil now. You don't need anything else. It's ready to go. Okay, so now you're going to get, typically here, you'll serve it in six slices. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to transfer it to the, again, the official margarita <laughs> platform. The only pizza in the, on the menu that gets served on this, exactly. on this beautiful yeah. plate. And it's not that, the protein levels are very close. Uh, there's not really any place, like we said, in, in, I don't know if there's any place in the world that you can actually try both of them next to each other. Yeah. I'm still I mean, trying to see if I can tell the difference, and they were really close. I mean, it's hard, but it, there is a slight difference. I can taste the difference, but and I can't really say I like one more than the well, other. One might say it's a little one's a little sweeter than the other, but um, it, the profiles are, are pretty close. Yeah, and 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 this one, the one you just made, to me has a little more of a nutty flavor to it. When you have cold dough going in, both of them, you can kind of tell a little bit more oh, yeah. what, what each one is. Yeah. And 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 I just love the way the way that the sauce just. It doesn't thicken up, it doesn't tighten up, it just releases all its flavors. Yeah. It's, so, so, it's, so, it's so juicy. When I went to the judges, <clears throat> brought the pizza to the judges, I had four judges in front of me, and one of the judges, it was a lady judge, said, uh, so what'd you make? I said, oh, I made, I made the margarita, this is what's on it. She said, oh, where's the buffalo mo mozzarella? I said, uh, there's no buffalo mozzarella. She said, oh, yeah, there's supposed to be buffalo mozzarella on that. I said, no, there's not. So I'm actually talking to a judge telling her. You're I'm, telling her she's wrong, yeah. <laughs> she said, uh, no, 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 the margarita should have mozzarella di buffalo. Hold on. She gets up, she calls the head judge. Come here. <laughs> so what she wants me to do is say, oh, no, no, you're right, you're right. So I said, uh, he's all what? And I said, uh, she said, yeah, this is a margarita. Um, he didn't put mozzarella di buffalo. So he doesn't need to put mozzarella di buffalo. He made a fior latte, is that what you made? I said, yeah. So he's fine. She was and testing she got it. Down. 
when you uh, when you go out to eat, you know, what, what kind of restaurants do you go to? Where do you, where do you go? Like I said, do you walk around here? You always eating pizza? Pizza, that's You're it. You're checking out everything? Like, no, no, I, I go everywhere. I go to Thai, I go to Chinese, I go to Italian, I go to anything. So like if you're walking around North Beach, uh, what, are some, what are some of your favorite restaurants? Uh, Do you have any? Calzones, the Tutuqua. You go to Stella for the cannolis and the uh, Cuchigatis. You go to Victoria's. Uh, she did my wedding cake. Uh, so I've, I've actually had a bunch of stops here for my wedding. So this isn't, it, we're not in Italy, but it kind of feels like Italy no, with all these definitely. little local places that have been around. Yeah, it's great. Italian and French uh, bakeries right up the street. What do they make there? I don't know how they got along over the years. Yeah, really? <laughs> What do they make? Uh, they do bread. They've been doing bread there for a hundred years. Really? They have an oven that's been. Uh, but, you, but you do your own bread at the at the restaurant here. We do. We, so a lot of the guys say, "Are you buying it from Liguria or you know Liguri?" Yeah. And I say, "No, we actually make our focaccia here. We make our ciabatta here." So. Have those guys come in to check you out yet? I mean, yeah. You, you got some old timers here. They've probably been watching this all happen. We've had pretty much almost every chef for every uh, restaurant owner come in. That's either in the area or outside the area. So it's been pretty good. Well, there's an interesting community in fellowship of pizza over there.